Good morning, honey gang. We just woke up. You can tell my eyes look swollen. I still sound like a half man this morning. Jasmine. Good morning, honey gang. Yeah. She's she just going to uh, blow all her hot ass uh -huh. breath this way. <laughs> my man. So we are about to get up, start moving around, get ready. It's been a big day today. Yeah. We got this event at 2 o'clock. Checkout is at 11, and it's like almost 10 o'clock. So by the time we get settled, you know, we got to go to Walmart. Yeah, we got a lot of things to do today. So, guys, thanks for coming along. On his journey with us. <laughs> Lord, Jasmine, sound like a man too. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. <laughs> oh my goodness. How'd you sleep with no kids? Overall, I slept good. I'm mad. I should have popped two more uh, better drills. That one better drill, I felt it. Like my eyes, I was trying to finish watching another YouTuber. And my eyes kept getting heavy. So I'm trying to fulfill watching the whole thing. Bitch, I just said fuck me. I turned around, put a pillow on my spine, and I went to sleep. Yeah. I know I slept good because my mouth was wide open. Yeah, girl. You see, I was really trying to prank your ass last night, but I was too damn tired. I was gonna fuck with you too, since you told me I had to ride home with you. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, uh, yeah, go ahead and go to sleep. I'm finna do something. Okay, bitch, you ride home with me. I will leave your ass at Louisiana. For real. You don't need to be stuck in bumblefuck. <laughs> For real. All right, guys, so we're about to get up and get ready. We will be back with you shortly. Yeah. Bye-bye. Game. So we're here, we're at the Cajun Dome, waiting for this event to start, we should have started at like 2. Yeah. So we're just waiting around and people are just standing, looking at other businesses and mingling. So we're waiting. Stay with us and see what's next, y'all. Feels already. We got too much rock going around. How y'all doing? Y'all good? No, 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 no. We have a problem. Good. Looking real good. You are looking good, but I'm not feeling good because y'all not making me feel good. Y'all say what's up? Y'all good? Yeah. On the count of ready, everybody in this place say, you heard me. One, two, three. You heard me. Yo, that's weak as hell. <laughs> we gonna get this is the beauty <laughs> influence of business expo. It's all about influencing. They it's came no to learn. They came they to learn. Came to they gotta get me right though. They gotta get this energy right because Judy is not gonna feel this energy. I know her. She's not, she'll be like, what the fuck is this? Yes. Right? So we gonna get How this. How about we do it good one time so he can stop? Because if right. not, if not, you don't be all so damn three. Let's yeah. give it all y'all. One, two, three. You heard me. There we go. I think you like Chelsea, but then you like me. That's what I think they like you better. Nobody likes me. It's all cool though. You 
heard me know, really. Thank you all for coming out to Louisiana's Beauty Business Influencer Expo. I want to tell you what today is all about. Um, a lot of people maybe was, you know, not understanding what today is exactly all about. So when you came in, it was an opportunity for you to mix, mingle, get to know each other, network, visit the vendors, and you'll still have another opportunity to visit the vendors um, a little bit later. So it's a full day, or well, a couple of hours of fun, excitement, energy for you to learn. I love the fact that I see people with the tablets, the notebooks, the phones, ready to take notes, but that's what this is about. It's bigger than taking pictures, you understand? Hey. All right. So the Louisiana Beauty's Business Influencer Expo Social Networking Day Party, that's what it's all in one. So right now you're gonna visit the, the panelists. And so we're gonna have some guest panelists come up first and, and talk to you a little about, about from square one to, 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 to leveling up and using social media before we bring up the full, before we bring up the celebrity guest panelists, okay? Um, so we're gonna tell you, we're, we're here to talk to you about is how to use social media, how to use networking, how to use branding, how to use the barter system, if you don't know what that is, we'll talk about that too, on helping get your brands, your product, and your businesses to the next level. You have the opportunity to ask questions, questions about how to get to the next level, questions about how did they get there, questions about what kind of money, any questions you can, Think of is your opportunity to ask so you can get to help you. So go ahead and write your questions now and be prepared. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're not coming to Mike and waste 10 minutes of my time or these people's time if you don't have any questions to get. All right? Because I will cut you off. They cut me off at the Royal Music Conference when I was asking questions to these people. They cut me off. I was like giving this long wind like I'm doing right now. And they're like, okay, sir, do you have a question? I said, okay. Then I asked the question. All right? So I want to make sure you all have your questions together when it's time to ask questions. Now, when you're hearing the panel, feel free to write questions down as we're going because we'll get that opportunity, all right? That's how it is. And then, following this panel, we will reopen the booths for you to go ahead. We'll reopen the booths for you to go ahead and visit the booths again to patronize the businesses and learn everything you can and network. But those people who are holding VIP wristbands, though, if you have VIP wristbands, that will be um, an additional VIP party right after the panel, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and party, it's gonna be the meet and greet, the opportunity to meet her on a more personal level, meet the guests on a more personal level. Um, right after the panel, we'll have that meet and greet. But even those who don't have the VIP tickets or wristbands, you feel free to still continue the party in the lobby. And there's a bar, get you something to drink, have some fun. And if you feel like upgrading, it's always an opportunity to upgrade. So if you wanna upgrade, just holler at us, we'll have this, the ticket, the, um, Table set up for you to upgrade if you do want to join the VIP party if you don't have that yet. All right, I think y'all understand what's about to happen today. Yeah? Good. We are, I think you they see have what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's probably why they don't like you. That's probably why they don't like I get straight you. to the point. Right? <laughs> Just like, you know, if he wants to sell insurance to his, you know, his customers or whatever he has, I'm going to put him on. And that's just kind of how we look at it. That's how we network. I mean, we have to realize in this day in society that uh, competition is dead and collaboration is key. Yes. Uh, I mean, we, we can't be in a position where we want to fight each other. Express your feelings, y'all. Right. Yeah. So yes, I mean, like y'all know y'all feel Y'all know y'all. We look at it like, oh, my brother getting up. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I don't, I don't want to do something that he's doing or I might be, in, you know, in that lane. And so that's the kind of a bad mentality that we have that we have to we have to start breaking. I know a lot of you guys are petitions and uh, do a lot of different things that everybody else is doing in here, and everybody's wondering, well, why are we at a networking event with a bunch of beauticians? Right. Well, that's extremely important because they might know something that you don't know. You cannot know everything. It's impossible. Right. It's very much impossible to know everything. And so how that look is, um, you know, I, I reach out to my brother. I say, hey, look, what you know about this? He helped me fix my business credit. I knew about insurance, but he knows about business credit. Right. So we work together in that sense and say, hey, we're going to build an empire together. Yes. Right. And, and, and okay, so I want to know... To help to consult him about insurance, did you charge him for that? Free. I'm s okay, I'm sorry, about real estate and then. Free. He's in the free. And, and, and basically, he had an insurance person before that. I came back with that free information. I leveraged my, what I knew. I saved him, what, probably a lot of money over the years just because I was good at what I did. So I offered my value by saving him money on his insurance. And so I asked that because it's the barter system I'm talking about. Right. And, and what that means, if you may not know, is like, guess what? When we outside of here, I'm gonna call Matt and like, yo, Matt, hey, I need you to get with me on this, woo woo And cool, no problem. But hey, guess what I need from you, Flex? No problem. The deal is sealed. And if the bar system I know, he didn't charge him for his services, nor did he charge for his service because they work together right. as brothers to connect it. And we gotta also understand that because a lot of times we, oh, I ain't doing nothing for free. Right. I, I ain't doing nothing for 
exactly. When you work together, you make a whole lot more money. A whole lot more money than by yourself. And you so can, we gotta understand it. And you can say, like, I mean, we sit down, we are in two different industries. Uh, I mean, I'm, he's yeah. in it. How many of y'all are beauticians and take cash and don't buy your taxes? Raise your hand. And don't be shy. Everybody do it. How many of you are beauticians that take cash and don't? Don't file taxes. And don't file taxes. Everybody file taxes? Are y'all claiming hey. everything? Are y'all claiming sure everything? Are y'all claiming every dollar? They're not claiming every dollar. They not. Because you know you got to pay taxes. That's because that's 1099 right. that cash. So are y'all claiming every dollar? Right. But anyway, a lot of people are scared to show how much money they make. You can't buy nothing if you don't have taxes. You might use the aunt. You got to pay the you don't want to have a car and it's in your cousin's name, right? Or you don't want to buy a house and it's in your cousin's name. Right. But anyway, uh, y'all follow me on Instagram, real estate, period, entrepreneur. YouTube, O'Neill Parker, real estate, period, entrepreneur. Dot. Dot. Real estate dot entrepreneur. Facebook, O'Neill Parker, O-N-E-I-L. YouTube, same thing, O'Neill, O-N-E-I-L, Parker. If y'all, I give you my number. <laughs> hey, you don't call me no bullshit. Man. My number is 337-371-7488. Y'all got any questions about real estate, credit, business credit, y'all let me know. 7488. 337-371-7488. We also boat help business coaching. That's something we don't really, we don't advertise. Uh, he can say it and I can say it. People come to us with questions all the time about how to get things going, you know, how to get it moving. We, you know, we just kind of give that free information, if, you know, so y'all can use that information for that. But uh, y'all can follow me on Instagram at underscore insurance mogul. And I do do uh, insurance for, uh, for beauticians. Uh, one of our customers in the building, shout out to Courtney. <laughs> Underscore insurance what? Mogul. Mogul. Huh? Oh, it's underscore there? Okay. Oh, I didn't know. It's so insurance, insurance mogul oh, underscore. Oh, my bad. Must Thank you. you. Hey, I see. She like, let me get it right. Insurance mogul underscore. Mogul. And then, uh, and I'm really, I'm on Facebook a lot. That's what I do my business at. But uh, you can follow me at MSJ Insurance Agency LLC. And then uh, my phone number is 337 366. 0789. That is the office number. 337 366 0789. All right. We thank you guys. Y'all have any questions? Anything that y'all uh, y'all might need? Uh, Enjoy. This is some of my work I just did on him, which you can also see on the outside. And pretty much, this is just, I'm not used to doing this. I'm just <laughs> Bottom line is, my, I base my whole career off of just grinding. Faith, grinding, not, not worried about what nobody else thinks, just sacrifice, just work. I understand a lot of people as independent workers, bro, don't let nobody downplay anything, your parents, your friends, your best friends, that's gonna be your enemies at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. like, you won't have nobody. True people that's that, the people that's inside of you right now, nine times out of 10. Cause yeah. everybody else and your friends, you be like, oh, I'm going to a convention or something, you be like, I ain't gonna do that. That's for you. I ain't gonna do that. Yeah. So that's who I really rock with you. That's who gonna really support what you're doing. That's who gonna pay and not be like, hey, you throwing that deal, son. I've been with you. I ain't never talked to you. I'm gonna do your deal. Yeah. But man, just stay focused, stay grinding, stack, save your money. Like, that's the hardest thing, especially when you're making cash. Like you said, I know all of y'all don't file your taxes. Y'all can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first year filing taxes, and I've been taxing since I was 17. And it's just like, it's a whole, it's a game changer, it's a mind changing thing. Like, I just had a son, like, my fiance is right there. And it's just, oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just being young, just working, it's like, bro, you're going to have a lot of people coming at you negative, internet wise, everything. Bro, just stay focused, don't worry about it. Like, everything when we see, God got to wait for everybody in this room. Yeah. Bro, just, just grind. That's what you just need to grind. Because at the end of the day, if you just put faith in that, everything going to show. Like, your bills, when you need to get paid, when you be struggling, you looking like, man, how, if you stay focused and grind, man, this is that money going to come. God going to bless you. Your friend might give you some money. You don't need to be looking for it. Yeah. But you just never know. You just 
Keep your head forward. Keep your head forward. Don't ever look back. All you have to mess up on, forget about it. It happened yesterday. It's a new day. Amen. Y'all grind, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. You heard me, you heard me, you heard me, you heard me. Get back, see. All right. Hey, Rock, turn me on some round. Y'all know, right. how, know how he do, so let me go through this one more time, y'all. We already know how it goes. We're going to welcome to the stage Orlando Flex Muto. Woo! All right, you heard me. <laughs> okay, now for the woman of the hour. Jessica Duport, a.k.a. Yes, Judy, is a philanthropist. Hello? Entrepreneur, CEO, actress via various digital platforms, recently featured on Megan Kelly's NBC Today show. Mm -hmm. She's an activist for health care, excuse me, health hair care products. She's most famous for her Kaleidoscope Hair Products Empire. It's a household brand that's penetrating the market at a rapid pace. I'm sure you all know Kaleidoscope drops. We all see those commercials, yes. those productions, okay, or Instagram. The quality of the product along with the company's aggressively entertaining, yeah, marketing approach has created instant credibility and a mass appeal to its consumer base. Jessica has traveled to key markets across the country to offer free knowledge on business and the keys to success to only the most driven business owners. Yes, you guys. From her experience of zero in sales to a fully stocked warehouse, distributors outside the United States within six months 43,000 customers reached by 2016. Kaleidoscope has surpassed $7 million in sales, y'all. All right, now. Nah. Hey. Being honored by Google and recognized by the Google Economic Impact Initiative, proclamation to the city of New Orleans are just a few of her numerous recognitions. Partnership with the New Orleans Police Department to donate over 600 bikes to inner city kids, countless charitable donations, including breast cancer awareness, show how genuinely she strives to make resolutions. The New Orleans native has a mission to pray through the process as she encourages, inspires, and motivates the notion, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Jessica Dupart, AKA Judy. <laughs> Make some noise, man. One more time, give it up for BB Judy the building, baby. Woo! Are we gonna get it right? We're gonna do we, we, we gonna get it for the ground again. We're gonna introduce her again and y'all gonna get it right for the ground. No, no, no. Okay, all right. <laughs> you get me right, just like Chelsea, right? <laughs> all right, y'all. We're gonna have another panelist join us shortly. And we're going to get started with Miss the real BB Judy. So first, you know, we got to let you, you know, drop the jewels, drop the gems, drop the miracle drops. Let them know, you know, just a little bit about yourself, your story, your journey. So, and from there, I pursued cosmetology the whole time. I got a hair salon and decided to add products to my services so I could increase my revenue and also try to help with an issue that I saw where a lot of people would either have man-made alopecia where you pull your own hair out, or it was hereditary alopecia. So I tried to come up with something that was a little bit more simple than taking pills, something that was, you know, not shading those companies, something that wasn't like a real game. So there, I started Collapse with Hair Products in 2014, summertime, and I went full-time um, social media marketing, I was able to grow it massively from doing kind of how he said real marketing. And this is where I am. Love it, love it. Um, I know a lot, we always talk about successes. So before I even get to the mass portfolio portfolio you have, we don't talk about failures enough. We don't talk about dumb moves enough. Mm -hmm. And you share some dumb moves with me. And so that I've done. When I was doing social media marketing, I was big on numbers. You know, everybody has, oh, I only want people to have over a million followers to post me, so forth and so on. So I hired an Amber Rose, per se, right? And I think she was like $30,000 a post at the time. And if, if you don't know promotion, it's not really that high. So, but it was $30,000 and I was chancing it, and my company didn't necessarily have $30,000 to chance. But me looking at the number, her number, instead of looking at what her page is about, 
I didn't even make seven hundred dollars back off of that post. They right. don't follow her. She don't have no hair. <laughs> they don't follow her for hair care. You know they follow right. her. If I was selling something like um something you know towards what she stands for, you know, then it probably would have made money. So I had to learn that lesson the hard way. Just like I paid fifty thousand dollars for a um an infomercial. I hired Caucasian people. There was no African Americans in it. I was trying to tap into a different market. Right. Because everything that I've done has been very urban. And it was amazing to me. I flew out to Palm Beach and I watched them. And they, they had people that really came and got their hair shaved for the commercial. They recorded it back. They came in with a full head of hair. And then they, you know, they put full locks out. And then they eventually shaved it down. And it they played it like a hair group. So it was something recorded back. So I literally watched people cut their hair off. I was like, this is amazing what people do with money. Anyway, so that went on air and they pulled it because the wording in it was incorrect. And that was that was actually the last that I had at the time. Um, but I definitely take a lot of L's. A lot, a lot of L's. Did y'all see when, I don't know, y'all follow me? Yes. Did y'all see when 50 Cent posted the Floyd Mayweather thing? Did you, how did I get in their beef? I don't have nothing to do with neither one of them. And so I gotta, I had to try to redeem myself because you can just imagine how bad this looks. Whether or not, how you gonna endorse a hair product and you got no hair? So now my company looks shady. So I gotta go in the, I gotta post them on my page to tell people go in the comments. I gotta go in the comments trying to clean up as much as I can. I asked 50 Cent and he told he said, Don't have me run up on your big booty. All right, whatever. You know, but anyway, all that to say, I definitely, it's not all W. Definitely not. I think L. Yes, I'm gonna get to another one a little bit later so I don't pound on the bats. But I wanna, so you gotta find one to get first. And then once you got that one under your belt, you know, then it's like, okay, well, we trust her, so. Um, I think my first run up was Michael Blackson. Oh, and I, I definitely slid in his DM. I'm telling you, I don't care. I'm you wouldn't stand there? there? You would No. You gotta be a great And then I'm the type of person, you can, you can try to flirt, but I'm always gonna take it right back to where we started. At. Because listen, I, I'm, I'm coming and I'm coming very professional. I'm coming where you ain't gonna tell me no. How much you charge? Well, I don't really, how much you charge? Well, I don't really, listen, I got this much for you. Okay, well, here you can meet me here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I, I put, I put uh, a dollar to it. But as far as she says, once you in though, once those celebrities do, help you out. It's crazy because Lisa Ray, Lisa Nash called me all the time. Mm -hmm. I worked with her twice. Yeah. You know, but you, like she said, you are who you say you are and they want normalcy. They don't want all of that. When we out, you hype them up. And What's up, up honey gang? gang? <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're leaving the convention, convention and even though it started late, it was really, really good. I was happy to see Jessica and um, BB Judy, if y'all don't know her name. Yeah, and other influencers. It was refreshing. Yes. Okay. Um, for some reason, when she first started her, whatever she said, I will post it in the video, but whatever she said, I kind of it took to my brain so hard, and I was like, oh, boom. Like, I, I know. I yeah, that's what I needed to know what's the next steps that we have to take as a unit yeah. to get better at this. This is a growing process. Nothing happens overnight, but I just feel like other people who have been through something and they're actually getting somewhere, not everybody has a silver spoon. Yeah. The best part about it for me is accepting failure and I'm not good with that, right? I'm not good with accepting failure. I'm a, a little sensitive to that. I am open, but you never know how failure is going to hit you. And sometimes it could be the smallest thing, and you might be able to be like, okay, if the failure hit me in the in the, the lightest areas, it won't affect me that much. But right. sometimes it's going to hit you with your gut right. hurt. Bottom. And you're going to cry. You're going to weep. And it's just like, I don't know. I'm ready to do that. Right. But with the support system, she did mention have support system that's like people that believe in you, see in you, not just want to hang around and eat and, you know, use you, basically. Yeah, yeah. You know, we really don't have too many of those besides our husbands. We don't, you, know you guys. So, and I was really big on, you know, having a social life. I still kind of am. But as far as 
be around those who want to exactly. do better. As far as you know? growth, spirituality, business, because nobody wants to keep working for everybody else. So as far as those of me, um, three main topics for me, I feel like I completely understand why you can't take everybody with you. I completely understand why it was a time and a season for certain people. Right. That was my biggest problem, you guys. My biggest problem. So we done came to realization accepting failure confidence in what we're getting ready to embark on and taking the opportunity because sometimes it might not come back around right so y'all know what we learned i hope y'all came if not i did take some good footage we yeah. will add it in the videos this was enlightening thank you <laughs> girl thank you for bringing me girl yes now yes. i gotta go back home to these babies okay all whole husbands louisiana it was fun it was fun till next time you guys bye bye, -bye. <laughs>